All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro. Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin' y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, make sure you click that subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. Click the like button on this video, and then make sure you click the notification bell so you don't miss the next time we drop another video. So y'all, we gotta talk about J. Cole. So J. Cole is getting some backlash. Last night at his Dreamville Festival set, uh, so let me explain. J. Cole throws a big festival in his hometown of Raleigh, where he's actually from um, a place a little, about an hour from Raleigh. But Raleigh is the closest city. So he throws it in Raleigh every year. And um, he had Nicki Minaj headlining the festival. And then he also headlines, too, on the last day. I went to the festival last year, y'all. Amazing festival. I mean, actually, it was even better than Rolling Loud to me. Y'all, the food was good. He had black-owned vendors there serving soul food. Mm. But look, we ain't talking about the food right now, but y'all know I'm a biggie. So, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm a foodie for sure. So, look, y'all, he's receiving backlash because he decided to end the, the rap beef that he had with Kendrick Lamar. He said he didn't mean it. He said that wasn't him. You know, he got out of his character. Because you remember in the last video, we talked about him dropping that diss song, uh, The Seven Minute Drill. And so, I'm going to let y'all take a look at the video, and then we'll talk, and I'll let y'all know what I think. All right, so that's all I'll play of it. Um, it's pretty long. You guys can go see it for yourselves. But um, that is the gist of it. He's basically saying, like, I really didn't want to do this. I really did not want to, to do this um, back and forth. Now, if you guys remember, when I did report on this, I reported um, and I told you that I feel like Kendrick Lamar, I feel like J. Cole was collateral damage. I feel like Kendrick Lamar really wanted Drake. That is who he wants to battle with. He, he, I don't think he wants, um, he doesn't want J. Cole. He never wanted it with J. Cole, but I think that, like J. Cole said, J. Cole felt pressure to respond by his people, the people around him. They're like, let's go. This is it. J. Cole is not even a problematic rapper like that. He used to be, you know, back in the day, or not even problematic, but he just doesn't, he keeps it himself. He makes his music. He drops it. It does what it does, and he moves on. That's just J. Cole. He's, he's, he's going to move on. So, um, it'll be interesting to see how this falls as well. I mean, I wonder if Kendrick is still going to go ahead and, um, annihilate him in a rap. But honestly, I think Kendrick just wants, um, Kendrick wants Drake. He wants Drake head on a platter. I think that's really what it is. Um, but you know what? People are saying like, oh man, J. Cole, uh, punked out of the rap, the rap beef that like, the, you know, ooh, I honestly, and I do, I, I can see why people think like that, but I don't know. I just feel like this is just him being a real nigga. Like, I feel like he being a real nigga. Like, bro, I ain't really got no issue with you for real. You know, I felt the pressure. You know, you did kind of, you you caught me. You know what I mean? You, uh, you, uh, me. But I, you know what I mean? And he knew, I think that J. Cole knew that Kendrick Lamar didn't really want it with him either. I think it was more so Drake and J. Cole was just collateral damage because he was on the song. I had said this from the jump. Had that line been said on that song and J. Cole was not still on there, Kendrick Lamar would have still came for Drake. It would have still been a thing. So it had nothing to do with J. Cole. J. Cole was just collateral damage. So um, this, is, this doesn't shock me at all that... You know, um, he doesn't really want any smoke with Kendrick Lamar. 
um, the rap fan in me is like, dang, I, I guess I don't, I didn't want them to be, but I was okay with it because I knew it would give us good, um, good material. We would get good music from it. So, but I guess that's, a, that's a, that's a chop, but it'll be interesting. Let's see if, J, uh, let's see if Kendrick Lamar still goes at J. Cole, but we know for sure that once Drake responds and then it'll probably be a back and forth for a little while. I mean, who knows at this point, but, um, yeah, J. Cole is getting it bad online or whatever, but I think it's just him. I think he's being real to himself and I think he's not letting a pressure or he did. He, he saw himself letting the pressure of what social media, the critics and the people around him, they, he let that get to him and kind of forced him to respond when in reality, what he could have done was just pick up the phone and call Kendrick Lamar and like, bro, like we, we got an issue. Woo-woo, you know what I mean? I guess that is that pussy. I don't know. Maybe I'm pussy. I don't know. But if I heard that song and I'm J. Cole, you know, if I'm, I'm J. Cole, I'm able to get in contact with Kendrick Lamar if I need to get in contact with Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> Hello? You, what's the pressure? What's the, we got an issue? Woo, woo, woo. And we kind of talk that out like men. Now, on the other hand, but if I'm Drake, I'm not calling Kendrick Lamar. Let's be very clear. I'm not calling no Kendrick Lamar. I'm not getting on the phone with Kendrick Lamar. That's just not a thing right now. I'm not... If I'm Drake, no, I gotta, I gotta come for you because you definitely, you threw some hot ones at me and you definitely thought you ate that. You, you kind of did, and you went number one with it too. So if I'm Drake, no, I'm not calling Kendrick Lamar. But if I'm J Cole in this situation, I would have called Kendrick Lamar just to see what the, what the, what the issue was, what the pressure was. But I, I already knew that J Cole was just collateral damage in this whole thing, so he didn't even need to respond because even when you listen to the diss between uh, with Kendrick Lamar. It was all really geared toward Drake. It was geared toward Drake. J. Cole just happened to be, you know, on that first person shooter song. And so I guess he thought, and he said the bar, um, the the who's the big MC? Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey? Is it me? He said that. And so, you know, he had to catch him a straight too. But let me know what y'all think in this video. Do y'all think that it was wrong for J. Cole to, you know, I guess back out of the rap battle? Or do you think he did the right thing? Do you think he kept his morals and his integrity intact and did the right thing? Because he did do this in front of everybody. He was getting clowned for it. And, you know, Kendrick Lamar, I honestly think, Kendrick Lamar, if you do still go at J. Cole, you pussy for that. Because that man went out there in front of the world and told everybody he don't have an issue with you and he apologized. And if you still want to take a shot at him, then I think you're a bully. I think you are a bully. Go for Drake. That is who you have the problem with. Go for Drake. But you and J. Cole don't have an issue. It's, it's nothing there. And he apologized in front of the world because he put the track out. You know, but I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Do y'all think he was wrong for apologizing? Or do y'all think he should have just, you know what? You and this beef, ride it out to the end. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I'll catch y'all on the next one.